Um, well, um, my name is Jane Wilson and I work with, and part of the collaboration with my sister Louise. I'm Louise Wilson and uh, we're just here actually working on our fir a first show, big show in DCA in Dundee. And um, <clears throat> it's uh, quite, quite a moment for myself because I studied here 20 years ago, so it's uh, great to come back. And uh, it, nice for me to come back as well because while Louise was studying here I often came to the college and we often worked in the photographic studios mm -hmm. and in the printing studios so we were making large photographic works up in Dundee at the time. And just to say that obviously it's been great um, in this, this particular instance to show um, a large-scale video installation and to show large-scale photographic works. So we're showing two separate bodies of works that we've um, developed since uh, 2010. Um, the first first series of works are large-scale photographic works that we did um, in Pripyat, which was um, the workers' town just outside of Chernobyl, which was evacuated in 1986. And as Louise said, yes, the second body of work is a film installation which we presented in um, Sharjah and uh, the biennial and it was made um, last year and it's a piece called Face Scripting, What Did the Building See? Um, and it's essentially a film based on um, the footage which was released, or inspired rather, by the footage that was released by the Dubai police which showed um, Mossad agents um, involved in this assassination of a Hamas operative, a man called Mahmoud al Mabu. Um, and our film, I guess, is a conversation with this CCTV, which the Dubai police released three days after the murder took place and basically exposed all the identities of the agents who were involved. But I guess you can kind of say that overall the show is really a kind of looking at the mechanics of surveillance but also about the act of looking so the photographic works that were shot in Chernobyl in well in Pripyat just uh, uh, next to Chernobyl um, you know they're large-scale photographic works but they're um, very much about um, placing the figure from that in, in, in the space in a sense and so what they're looking at with these uh, yardsticks that's a continuing motif in the sculptures and in the photographs is about demarking a kind of um, measuring scale but also it's kind of about the act of measuring and how surveillance is like measuring and um, also the yardsticks are about measuring um, but also you look at those sites in Chernobyl and you think they've been so measured um, whether it's to do with the measures of radioactivity um, and that passage of time and the sense with the uh, piece, the Mossad, uh, the, 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 the piece that we did in 2011, face scripting, is um, kind of a lot about the mechanics around measuring in terms of the CCTV and measuring in terms of face recognition. In terms of face recognition, there's a measure that happens between the distances of the eyes to the nose to the lips and to the way that the face is broken down into these kind of portions. And uh, that kind of face recognition technology is used in terms of identification and also surveillance is a big tool for uh, you know, studying those kind of things. And so we were also uh, interested to work with the uh, print studios here with um, Annis and to produce a whole body of work, a uh, new body of work, which shows the heads um, and the face recognition marks with um, the CCTV footage of the um, uh, release by the Dubai police, which shows um, the assassination of Mahmoud al Mabu or the <coughs> events that led up to it, rather. And then just to say that, you know, obviously when we're talking about the, the, the yardsticks in terms of the sculpture, the sculpture that's behind us is a piece called All Together, which was based on a, a sculpture that was um, from the 1920s um, by, Rod Ch by Alexander Rodchenko. So it def directly references a kind of um, political, utopian, artistic past in former Soviet Union. But actually, um, by re reconstructing it now, you look at something like the Chernobyl works which are called Atomgrad, nature abhors a vacuum, and you think but actually Atomgrad means you know Atom City, so it was kind of almost like this city for the future. So there was this definite modernist utopian ideas around um, this city that was going to be based on uh, providing the workforce for a nuclear power station. And of course we were just saying actually when we were growing up we were very aware of the Cold War and very aware that you know there might be a threat of a nuclear attack but we really thought it would be a nuclear attack in terms of between Russia and America. Nobody ever thought that actually the actual nuclear fallout would be the result of an explosion in a power station. 
I think, uh, yeah, I think that's interesting what Louise mentioned about, you know, Rochenko and that kind of constructivist uh, utopian idea of also a, f a form that would t take you into the future and, and bring you forward. And obviously within that, it wasn't just artistic and enterprises, but also discoveries through science and through all of these other areas, which were supported through this kind of Soviet um, zeitgeist, I guess. And uh, that's interesting to see that obviously uh, in the town of, of Pripyat, it did actually echo that that belief still, even though it was completed in 1980, it was still was called the Atomograd Atomic City. And I guess all the images are very much images that were shot in the public spaces, so whether it's the cinema, the school, uh, the swimming pool, the cultural palace, the hotel, they're very much about these public spaces, which, like Jane said, you know, was um, very much this sort of idea of a new, a new community and a, and a community of the future. And finally, the, 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 in the last room, we're showing um, a very early work from 1993, which is called 830. And it somehow is, um, I guess, in a way, a linchpin from where we, we started from. It was the first video piece that we made. And it sits on a monitor on the floor. But it basically is um, un unfolding a kind of uh, a figure placing elements in, um, in um, what was our flat in King's Cross. So it looks like somebody staging the scene of a crime, but it also has that kind of um, degraded quality in a way that we did with gels to make it look like um, it was surveillance or CCTV footage. So in a way we wanted to bring that into the show as well, just to kind of, uh, I, I guess, just to sort of emphasize the fact that it's sort of been a recurring theme, if you like, in a way.